I'd like to introduce your new boss, Tanner. Hello there, everyone. Welcome to a new Let's Play. Uh, normally, I wouldn't be starting a new one so quickly, but uh, I got an interesting email recently from a guy from Eline Media, who is a publisher on games, who basically said, Hey, we're releasing a game on the Wii U and wondering if you'd like a copy in advance to do a Let's Play on. And as you know me, I will always accept a game from a developer, and most of the time, there are exceptions, mostly if it's on PC, uh, I will, I'll try to play it, you know? And But because it's on the Wii U, I was like, I have no reason to not, you know? So, without further ado, let us take a look at the Wii U version of Never Alone. Uh, so I showed it to you up there. Uh, and its actual name is Kisama In... I'm gonna butcher this. It is Kisima Ingichuna. Now, uh, I am actually, uh, half native. So this game, uh, is important to me. Because, I mean, I don't really play up that part of my heritage. Uh, in fact, if most people look at me, they either guess I'm, like, Italian or Spanish, or even just generic white bread, but, uh, no, so this game is actually, it's based off of, like, an Alaskan people, and, uh, I think it's so cool. It's a puzzle platformer, it was actually released on the PS4 and Xbox One early, uh, like, well, no, not early, late last year, I think in December of 2014, um, and this is the Wii U version, which is an enhanced port, so... It's really cool, and I'm very happy to be able to, uh, to play it, you know, be, be first to play it. This, vi this video is going to be coming out two days before the, uh, the game actually comes out. It's coming out on the 25th. So let's take a look here. Um, I'm going to put on subtitles, because those are definitely important for, uh, for people to, for you guys to be able to hear. Okay, the languages, English, Spanish, ooh, look at all these languages, that's good. But we're going to put it to English, U.S., even though it's Canadian English, so it's kind of a mixture between, whatever. Um, so let's go, new game. Game saves automatically. Cool beans. The Inupiat, that's the people in this game, are an Alaskan native people who have thrived for thousands of years in one of the most formidable environments on Earth. You can learn more about the Inu Inupu Inup Inupiat. I'm gonna. I'm so sorry. I am <laughs> not good with you know languages and stuff. Well, actually, I am. But just bear with me on this. Um, so we can browse our artifacts. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, so I'm not gonna look at all these. I want to save some stuff for you. Um. We got insights also. So we have, like, documentary stuff. I think I'm not going to show that off for the Let's Play for now. Um, but definitely that's pretty cool. Maybe I'll do a thing at the end where I watch them all. I really like the art style. Like for this cutscene especially. I love it when, when the cutscenes are in a style like that. I thought that was a narwhal for a second. Oh, 
oh, we can watch a thing. I think we're going to, again, wait off. It's cool. Actually, it's cool you can do that during, like, it gives you the prompt to. And, you know, at a loading screen, you can actually go and, and watch. So that's cool. So I guess it's going to be as it, as the game goes on and it introduces you to new elements, you'll be able to just watch them. That's really cool. I really like that. I've always loved, like, museums and, you know, looking at this stuff. I mean, yeah, we had it hammered into us, being Canadians, you know, in social class. Oh great, bears! Oh my god, left to run. Well, this is a way to start the game. Yep, this is... You know, when a game starts with bears, you know you're in for a wild ride. A to jump. Okay. Okay, Crest Bandicoot, this isn't. Because it's mostly going sideways. Oh man, I actually feel so terrible. Okay! Whoa! There's the fox back there, fox partner dude. I know, for just from watching um, promotional media and stuff, that he's a friend. Actually, I could be wrong. Who knows? That's interesting. If you get up to the ledge, she, like, stumbles a bit. So it really, your timing of your jump is a little more important than you'd think. Okay. I am not letting go. I don't even want to think about what would happen if you did. No! Keep going! No, stop! What are you doing? Okay, that. No! Play in co-op. Okay. Hmm, that actually would be really cool if I had someone here with me, but sadly I do not. So we're gonna switch. Oh! Okay, that's cool. So it is straight on. Oh, the polar bear. Okay, no, don't fall into the water. Okay. Oh, no! Oh, I feel terrible! Oh my god, I feel... Absolutely the worst right now. Okay, I guess we're not going back right away. Or do we just wait here? Okay. So now we can head back. I think. Can we? Are we good? Okay. Hit! Oh, oh okay. That was close. That was... Whew. Oh, could you have the choice to not go back? And that would be like a game over? Oh, I'm liking this. Oh, and then the other... So then it falls automatically. The weather did not clear up as a blizzard was followed by let another blizzard. Robert Cle So is this based off of a... Must be like a folktale. Very cool. God, I just want to protect this little girl. I just do. I really do. Oh, and the fox is adorable, too. It's nice that it just follows automatically. Oh. Let's give this a watch. I want to see this, at least. Oh my god, it's so cute. Oh. When I was growing up, uh, my grandpa uh, had a pet white fox. If you're a good friend with a fox, when there's danger abound, they try to keep you from getting into trouble. They pull tricks here and there, and foxes are uh, like uh, spoiled little kids in that way. When you let her out, she'd go prancing out in the snow, jumping in the air. I know. Did people was... actually have, like, fox Can companions? That's. Me? That's so interesting, because, like, they're, you know, they're wild animals, but... <laughs> That's very interesting. You know, I would have never even thought that that was a thing that could happen. Um, you know, let's give these ones a look at.
before we... I'm probably going to end the part right away. 15 minute parts are good. I want to stretch it out a bit. One of the things I think a lot of people need to understand is we aren't a museum piece. The Inupiaq people are a living people and a living culture. Even though we're in northern Alaska, which covers this vast area from Nome all the way over the Canadian border, is that yeah, there represent. is this extreme value of interconnectedness and interdependence. It's a hunting society, a gathering society, from thousands of years. This is what creates our culture. That special relationship between humans and the natural world and the animals. And that it teaches you how to have a, a society that doesn't do too much harm to the world. Love and respect for nature, for one another, for our elders. I guess I should be talking over this. I'm just, I'm really enthralled. I mean, we, as I was saying before, as Canadians, we are really hammered with um, Aboriginal culture in our social classes, um, and rightfully so. I know a lot of people dislike it, and I can sort of see why, but at the same time, it's very interesting. And this is really interesting to me, because... You do get the history, but then you get to play it and sort of experience it. Like, I know it, it doesn't even compare. It's very cool. Those are whale bones. That is so cool. Okay, I think we'll, we'll, we'll continue playing for a bit, actually. Because I sort of just thought, oh, this is a... The B button is a, is a... Oh, I bet you it's bracing for the blizzard, I bet. Um, tap A to climb the wall with the fox. Oh, that is adorable. Um, because I was just thinking, oh, her name is Nuna. Oh, that's a cute name. I was just thinking, like, you know, I don't want to, for the video parts, I don't want to spoil it too much. I definitely do think that, you know, stuff like this, if you're interested, support it. Give it a look. So, yeah, that is obviously a brace button. But when you're here, it's okay. Oh, interesting. I wonder if that, like, does health damage to you. Or if that's just blowing you back and possibly not, you know, making progress harder. I will say the, uh, oh, fell right on her, on her, oh, he did too. That's adorable. At least I think it's a heat. Yeah, here we go. Press B to race against the wind. Huh. I will say, <laughs> um, watch caribou skin clothing was the best. Well, I think we won't. Again, that that is a major part of the game, but I don't want to give it away. And I think you guys could understand, hopefully. Ooh. Whoa. That is a whale spirit. Cool. Do I go down? Am I jumping? No. That was a mistake. Okay. You're supposed to hold on, or...? There we go. Oh, the fox guides the spirits. Oh, that's really cool. I will say, um, as a kid, you know, I used to see these spirit pictures in museums, but they always kind of freaked me out. Something about the way they look. And I know they're they're meant to be like the like the classic art, but they always did. That's just me. It's cool though nowadays, but I mean as a kid, I was scared of everything as a kid though. Whoa! These dudes have wall jumps, or th this guy has wall jumps. Very cool. Well, this would be very fun to play in two-player, though, co-op. Oh! Oh, wow, okay. The, um, the computer is really good at knowing where to go. I mean, it's not the hardest, but 
It's good. I mean, I played similar games where you would definitely have to make sure you do it yourself, otherwise they just die. Whoa! Oh, didn't even think of that. You know, being in the blizzard. Like I was saying before, um, as a Canadian, I... <laughs> I know the feeling of the blizzards, and uh, I definitely feel like some of my subscribers might not understand how this feels, but I've been in this situation before, and uh, definitely not to this extreme. I was not platforming across an icy fjord. That was I was close, um, but no, I don't. I actually don't like snow at all. Um, I think snow is vastly overrated. I mean, I live in, in Alberta, Edmonton to be specific, and that is, uh, like, the coldest place. No, it's the, it's the most northern metropolis in the world. So that means, literally, uh, we get up to, up to minus 40. Oh, this is so cool. So then I go down here. Oh! Okay, so we just gotta go up. I, I think, like, the the art style of the spirits is very cool because it's like the 2D and the... Uh, in the 3D world. I really like it. But guys, I think we will, uh... We will continue our voyage next time. So I'll see you tomorrow. And, uh, we'll play some more Never Alone. See you next time. Ciao.